So far, we have looked into the section signals, where we investigated sources, and we multiplied voltage and current and ended up with power. And we looked at components, that is resistors, inductors, and capacitors, and applied the knowledge from the first section, from the power, to the components, and also looked at the energy in components. Now, both the signals and the components are the building blocks to actually create circuits. And that's what we are going to do now. We're going to build circuits. One way of connecting sources and components is to put them in series. A series connection means that the voltages of all the components that are in series add up to one voltage all across of them. The summation of those voltages is known as Kirchhoff's voltage law. The impedance seen from the top node all the way to the bottom node expressed in the equation over here as Z with the underscore is the total voltage across all of them and the one and only current that is flowing through all of those components and therefore we end up with the total impedance being the sum of all the impedances that are in series. The other connection is a parallel connection. In a parallel connection, we have one voltage applied across all of the impedances, set one, set two, and all the way up to set n. And each of them has their own specific current, I1, I2, and all the way up to IN. Now Kirchhoff's current law says that the sum of all of those currents ends up into a total current flowing into the parallel circuit. The admittance seen from the top terminal down to the bottom terminal here, so looking into the circuit here from the voltage side here, is the ratio of the current flowing into all of them divided by the one voltage which is across each of them and equals the sum of the admittances of the individual impedances, where the admittance of each individual component is one over the impedance of that one. And now it's all about applying what we have learned so far in the next eight exercises. The first exercise uses your face and knowledge on a serious connection of a resistor and an inductor. The resistor is 100 ohm, the inductor is 200 millihenry, the source voltage, the signal here, is given up by this equation as a cosine wave. And the question to you is, how does a phasor diagram look like for all the voltages, the given ones, and the ones you need to calculate? That is the resistor voltage, the inductor voltage, and the current through the circuit. And what is the phase relationship of the current and the source voltage? This exercise is very similar to the previous, only that in this case, it's a resistor and a capacitor in series. In the third exercise, we are interested in the resulting impedance of a series connection of a 100 millihenry inductor with 50 ohm resistor and a 10 microfarad capacitor at three different angular frequencies, omega one, omega 2 and omega 3. In the fourth exercise, we have a parallel connection of three components. They are supplied by a current source on the left side of the diagram and generate a common voltage across them. Again, you are asked for all the phasors in the diagram and what is the relationship between the peak values of the inductor current and the source current. And what's the meaning of that relation? In exercise number five, 
we add the superposition of two sources to the picture. The question is, what is the voltage V1 at that node here over ground? And question number six is similarly asking for the voltage V1 over ground for a different circuit. In question number seven, we are mainly interested in the power delivered from the source. And that is the reactive power, the apparent power, and also what is the current phaser delivering that power from the voltage source given here as a phaser and additionally a frequency. What is the power factor for that circuit? And is the power factor lagging or leading? And in the last exercise, we have the power reading from a power meter, and that is the real power and the apparent power. And we know that that power is delivered by this voltage source. Now we want to know what is loading this source and we want to model it as a resistor in series with an inductance. What is the value of that resistor? What is the value of the inductor? And what's the resulting power factor?